Hi everyone, this is Sam as always and thank you so much for coming to this video. In today's video, I'll show you some of the best things that you can add to your Scratch DNA to make it at least more professional. And this will include some of this. In the first place, I'll show you how you can do a Scratch DNA and then start a song. And of course, you know what the play and starter does. And also secondly, I'll show you how you can do a Scratch DNA and then go to either a specific cue point or go to the most recent cue point. And in the third place, I'll show you how you can do a Scratch DNA with and without the sleep mode on. And also lastly, I'll be showing you how to do a Scratch DNA and then shuffle to the next one in case you're not so creative with editing the Scratch DNA in the Scratch DNA editor. Of course, I'll be giving you all the keyboard mappings, so make sure you stay alert into this. And then without wasting a lot of time, I want to ask new members to at least subscribe. And then if you've been there before, I want to say thank you. So let's get started. Alright guys, so in the first place I would want to ask you to at least bear with me. I'm not really physically well, but I know you can get the voice here well. And I'm just trying to do my best to put this out clearly. So the first thing is how to get a Scratch DNA and then start a song. I think it is going to be impressive if I first show you the keyboard mappings. So let me go to the mappings area. Alright, so here we are under mappings and... For you to be able to scratch and then start a song, you need at least two letters on your keyboard. I'm going to be using letter S for scratching. And I just simply say scratch underscore DNA and then these are the letters in. And then the second one that I need is the space bar, which is going to do the following things for me. In the first place, it's going to disable any effect that is ongoing. Sometimes a scratch is so longer than uh, maybe the 4 bits. I usually like scratching on 4 bits. So if it's longer than 4 bits, I need a, a mapping like this to disable the, the effects from 4 bits exactly. And then I also play the song and starter. So it says effects disable all and play starter the song. So that's what it's going to be like. I'm just going to show you a sample of how this will play like. Then secondly, I want to show you how to do a, a scratch DNA with a cue point. Alright, so there are two options. You can either do a, a scratch DNA and then go to a specific cue point or just do a scratch DNA and then go to the most recent cue point. Let's start with by naming a, a specific one. For my case, I'm using letter F for this and this is what it would be like. I would give it a condition and say if it's down, if it's down, I'll do a scratch DNA, which is this. And if it's not down, I'm going to do to go to hot Q2 and then play. So this needs you to at least make sure you have a hot Q already set for your song. So once you press the key down, it's going to do a scratch DNA. And then when you release it, it will go to that specific Q point and then it will play. Let me show you how it plays. <laughs> Also, just like I said, you can do a scratch DNA and then just go to the most recent cue point without having to name any. For this other one, we had named cue point 2, but you can just say go to cue and play. Alright, this is how it would look. I'm using letter N here. So I would say scratch DNA, which is this. And if it is up, I'll just go to cue. Any cue, especially the most recent one, and play. Alright, so then the next thing that we want to have a look at is playing a Scratch DNA with the sleep mode on. I've already talked about the sleep mode in some of my other videos, so I hope this is not something new. But if you've never heard about it before, this is what enables you to continue playing a song as if nothing had happened to it. 
For example, if you, you go into a scratch DNA and you release it, it will still continue playing from where it would be without you stopping the song. And how do you even get the sleep mode in the first place? You can either do this mapping here, just say sleep underscore mode. And if you want to see what the sleep mode is, it's always very easy under the old interface here. You can just come to scratch. And then you can see this is a sleep mode active for deck A. And you can also make it active for deck 2. So with the mapping I've shown you, you can press it to enable or disable sleep mode for any active deck. As you can see here, this is what it is doing. So if it's yellow, it's active. Alright, so that is it. So you need to scratch with the sleep mode on. It will scratch and then just the song continues as normal. Let's listen to it a bit. <music> And also this is how it would sound when you're scratching without the sleep mode on. It would scratch and then the song would still start from where you had stopped. Get the concept. You scratch and then the song will still continue from where you had been scratching. So it wouldn't make sense anymore and this is how it would also be. So lastly, the next thing I want to talk about is how to do a Scratch DNA shuffle. You can shuffle between one, two, or three Scratch DNA styles. Uh, how, how do you even deal with this? You press a Scratch DNA on your keyboard that you have mapped already. Before it scratches, you can maybe let it scratch for like two bits and then you press the next one. You don't really hold it, just tap on it and let go. It will be doing the scratches. And then you go to the next one. You be counting your bits in your mind. Let's say four bits are always scratching four bits. So I press this and then be counting four bits in my mind. I can say I want to press four different DNA styles on my keyboard within the four bits. So I make sure within each bit I'm pressing on another kind of scratch DNA. So at the end of the four bits, I will either do a play or starter, or I will just disable all the effects. To let the song continue playing normally and this is how it would be this also works by the way this is also how you can get creative with scratch dna styles if you can't like edit it so much in the scratch dna editor you can just do a few scratches like do a few, a few mappings and then play around with it to make it sound more creative just do your mappings and then play around with them so let me show you how Alright, so that was it guys. I just hope to give you some more tips here. These are some of the things you should keep in mind for this trick to work perfectly for you. Otherwise, you might miss out on some things. In the first place, you have to make sure that the cue point is in its exact beginning. Let me just close this. Uh, let me first go to the default interface like I was using before. Like that. Alright, so it's not going to work perfectly with the Scratch DNA if the cue point is like let's say here and then the first bit is the other side all right the, the advice for everyone who wants to get a scratch dna cleaner is to at least give a little space before this, the cue point I've, I've lost that point but if it's too far away you might not get anything sounding so that's one tip you must always keep in mind and also in most cases if you want to scratch over the sleep mode please have to make sure the sleep mode is on you can't do a, a scratch over the sleep mode without a sleep mode on you would be boring your people out there so 
you might lose it all. Uh, the other very important thing is that you must always have a, an independent letter on your keyboard that at least removes all effects just like I did with the space bar but you can have an independent one to help you because sometimes you might have to lose this crash DNA so you can still save the beat by pressing on that to disable anything that is running as an effect including the scratch DNA then also the very important thing that I was doing in this and you didn't know this is like a bonus tip and you should have it don't scratch over a bit what do I even mean by this make sure you disable scratches over make sure you mute the beat how do we get over that let's say we are under scratch DNA let's just load an effect here this is scratch DNA I want to do this to show the user interface this is the general user interface so this is what I mean by over when this is on the song scratches I mean the scratches come over the beat the song continues playing you sometimes you might not even feel the scratches so you need to remove this or you can just say under mappings here effects part 3 I have a mapping like that effect button yeah it's effect button 2 right not pads sorry for that effect button 2 so that is the button 2 this is button 1 this is button 2 you get that so make sure you disable this and you'll have cleaner scratches don't do anything with the rest here and also the other thing that you should keep in mind is do not scratch beyond four bits for the practice time at least uh, un until you're really well versed with the scratches just make sure you scratch within four, four bits and if you're well versed with the scratches you can get everything going so don't scratch beyond that and then the second last tip is if you want to do a scratch DNA and then go to a specific kill point please make sure you play the beat first if you're in sleep mode you can't go to a kill point otherwise the song will be playing silently so you need to play the song first and then you start scratching I hope you'll get the concept here then also lastly please do not hold on a scratch DNA until it comes to an end you lose the beat just scratch a bit before it even goes off you release your fingers for practices you can try holding on but if you are really playing good music already you don't need to hold on to scratch DNA until the scratches get to an end just release your finger on beats to give it time to play and that was it all for today guys I hope the video will help you out if there's anything I should know please do it in the comment section down below and also please if you love the video at least give me a thumbs up for this one here and if you're still new please make sure you subscribe because I have content like this still coming your way hope to see you in the next one.